right, my love. Had a slow ass morning. I virtually haven't done anything. Um, yeah, I've just been really chilled here in, in Brisbane. It's been quite nice. It's been nice to slow down a little bit. But I did, annoyingly, I was editing one of my videos, my iPad, and I stupidly deleted all the files before exporting it in iMovie. So I lost the whole thing, so that was about an hour, an hour and a half gone. So I decided to get out, do some stuff. I had boring admin stuff to do. I just had to get a, a little battery that proved so hard to find. I've looked in every single city and no one had it. One of those little flat ones. But I checked in all the shops, none. And then I just checked in this Mr. Minute, like a watchmaker's, had them. And then random stuff like, I've just been here, office works. I had to get sellotape for my, uh, for my book. Because my big roll of tape got um, confiscated off me at the airport. Like it just ripped it down. So I was inside for like 10 minutes, waiting for it to pass, and it has. And now I'm going to go to the GOMA, the, um, I think there, it's their Museum of Modern Art. So I'm going to go check out that for an hour, and then I'm going to meet my friends um, for some more food, and then I'm going to watch their dress rehearsal tonight, which I'm really looking forward to. This is just bizarre. There are two deers. They've been merged together identically. And then this Japanese artist has put these spheres all over the body. Like, it's trippy and you can't tell. But it's quite hazy in here. And there's a low ceiling. completely thrown off. Definitely in the land of the giants. Don't wake up. The detail on that is insane. Like I would have I feel like she's going to talk or move at any second. Incredible. <coughs> yeah, all oh, making Lego structures. How cool is that? He is going in heavy. This guy made. It's been coming back for weeks and it took him about six days to do. That guy. This one. This is for my nephew. He loves dinosaurs. Hey Archie, look. Oh my god, if only I could. I wish I had longer. Gallery of Modern Art, Brisbane. <laughs> Bloody fantastic. Oh, that was so good, so much fun. I love making that little Lego thing. I had no idea what I was making. I was just 
doing something off the top of my head. It had absolutely no form to it whatsoever. But that guy who made that massive structure, that was impressive. That was very impressive. There was a moment he was putting it down and the guy helped. Uh, he, yeah, he had to help him. And then it took three guys to put it back up. And I saw at the back, two little bits had come undone from the structure. Ooh. But no, they nailed it. They nailed it. Wicked. Yeah, go check out Goma. Okay, I've got a quiz for you. Fill in the missing words. Because I'm on. Sorry, that was so poor. So, so poor. Time to go watch them dance. Oh, what a lovely treat that was. A whole day of culture. And got to see one of my old pieces that I performed. That was pretty special. Yeah. Good times. Oh, what a great show that was. I've never seen Queensland Ballet before. And I have to say, I was not disappointed. They, it was a brilliant trip of Bill. Three pieces by three different choreographers. And two were actually English. Liam Scarlett and Chris Bruce. Big up Chris Bruce. Brr. He's my first ever boss in my first dance company that I joined when I was oh, 18. So yeah, got a lot of time for him. So the last piece that was on was Ghost Dances. It was the second piece that I ever performed at Rombe. And I haven't seen it since I performed it, since, yeah, since we, it was in the company. What was about, coming back, it has to be about 10 years ago, was the last time that I was in it slash saw it. So yeah, it was interesting to see again after all this time. And just having all those, all those cool memories just come flooding back. But yeah, Queensland Ballet did a really, really good job. I was very impressed with all three pieces. So if you're ever in Brisbane or anywhere where Queensland Ballet are performing and touring, go watch them. You will not be disappointed.